Hola! Hey everyone, it's Nikki and Aubrey. Aubrey, say hi. I promise I do do her hair. She just woke up from her nap and I didn't feel like fixing it. <laughs> but really, I did do it today and it looked extremely cute, but this is the result after her nap time, so don't judge. We do do her hair, we promise. So anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna do Connor's 22 month update and he is downstairs playing with his daddy right now, so, but she was kind of sad, so I decided to keep Miss Aubrey and she is gonna help me with the update today on her brother, aren't you? Aren't you? Yes, you are. Okay, so Connor is now 22 and a half months old. I cannot believe that he is almost two. It is insane. In January, so just a few more months and my little boy will be two. Very sad. Um, so he is most, oh, he's mostly wearing one size cloth diapers. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that in his last update, but he mostly wears one size. He has pretty much, every one of his diapers are pretty much one size, except for he does have uh, medium fuzzy buns and a size two apple cheeks. Um, so yeah, he can fit in a, me a medium fuzzy bun and a size two apple cheeks. But other than that, it's just one size. So he's doing really good. Um, he weighs right around 29 pounds. I weighed myself the other day and then I um, weighed myself holding Connor and I just kind of estimated it was right around 29 pounds. So 22 months old and 29 pounds. So he's doing pretty good. Um, but I haven't had an appointment for him for a while so I'm not sure what percentiles he's in but he is 29 pounds. Um, he's talking even more than his 20 month update. It is ridiculous. He says so many words and just saying new things every day. Oh my gosh, but his new favorite word is no. Oh, I am so sick of that word. He says it all the time and he doesn't just say no. You say, Connor, will you do this? No! And he like seriously like throws a little temper tantrum about it and oh. Just want to strangle that little kid sometimes, but not in a bad way, of course. I don't abuse my kids, so don't think I do. But just like, you know, in a parent way, you're just like, oh my goodness, you know, stop saying that. But um, it's kind of funny, though, because <laughs> he just picks up on how to say it, and it doesn't matter if you teach him that word or not, they're going to learn it, because I never taught him that word. I don't really say no around him very often, because I didn't want him to learn it, because I'm like, okay, maybe we can skip the no phase. Nope. It was not skipped. He says it all the time, and he doesn't just say no. He's like, no, no, and it's just like this little temper tantrum, no, and it is so funny. But um, yeah, so that's our new favorite word, which is so much fun for me. Um, and he's beginning to throw a little bit more temper tantrums, but he's not too bad. Just He's just getting to that little terrible two phase, but he, not anything that I can't handle, not anything that's out of control. He's, you know, he's just a little kid throwing temper tantrums. That's what they do sometimes, so we're dealing with that. Um, and he is beginning to go through a little bit of picky eating. I mentioned this on his 20 month update that he was kind of being a little bit more picky when he eats. He's still going through that a little bit. He doesn't eat as much as he used to, but he is eating, so I'm not too worried, but he is kind of going through the little picky eating, not hungry type phase. I just don't think he's growing right now. He's not going through a growth spurt. I mean, he's growing obviously, but he's not going through any major growth spurts right now. So I think that that has something to do with it, but he's still eating. It's just a little bit more picky than usual, but I'm not too concerned about it. Um, he's been going through a harder time lately going to bed at night and going down for naps. Like every time we'll put him in his crib, he'll just start screaming. And it makes me feel so bad because we used to just, um, cause we read him a bedtime story and we sing him some songs and we put him in his crib and usually he just played his toys and talked to himself and then go right to sleep. But now he just kind of starts screaming and crying and I'll have to go up and down the stairs, you know, a couple times to get him settled down cause I'm not the type of parent that believes in the crying out method. I think that, that is just so sad and I... Personally, I couldn't do it because I am very tender hearted when it comes to that stuff. And so it breaks my heart to hear him cry. And so I can't let him cry it out. I'll let him like, if he's fussy or if he's whiny, I'll let him kind of fuss in his crib and whine in his crib and do that kind of thing. But when it comes to full out crying or screaming, I have to go right upstairs because it just breaks my heart to hear that. So I've been going up and down more and, you know, settling him down because I just, I, I can't let him cry it out. I'm not the first type of person that can just put my baby in bed when they're crying, turn off the monitor downstairs so I don't hear it and let them just cry. I, that would totally tear me up. So I can't do that. Anyway, um, 
So yeah, I'll let him like fuss and whine a little bit in his crib if he's going through that or whatever. But if it's like crying, then I will definitely just go up there and rock him and sing to him some more and love him some more and let him know that it's okay to go to bed and it's okay to be in there. And he's been getting better lately. This last couple weeks, this last like week, he's been getting better, but it's been going on for about two or three weeks. So hopefully it's just a phase, you know, and hopefully he'll start getting better. She was looking at me a minute ago with her crazy insane <laughs> See, my hair was beautiful today, once, earlier, and now it's kind of crazy. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. He's <laughs> so cute. Um, but yeah, so hopefully that little terrible time at night will get better soon because it breaks my little heart when he has to cry. Um, let's see, so now he has a new nap time. Um, he used to be going down, he used to go down for his naps at one o'clock. Um, and then I switched him to 1.30, like a month ago I switched him to 1.30 because of Aubrey's scheduling and now he's taking his nap at 2 o'clock because Aubrey is now having two naps a day and her second nap is at 2 and so I changed his nap to 2 because I wanted them to sleep at the same time. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> and so um, he's going down at 2 o'clock now instead of 1 so that's a little bit different but it's going good because now he's taking longer naps it seems like since I've stretched him an hour he seems to be taking better naps like two to two and a half hours so it's doing really good there. Um, let's see, and, oh, and I'm starting to think of some, like, birthday party ideas. His birthday is January 15th, so it is coming up, and, um, yeah, right about a month and a half or so. Oh, my goodness. So, I'm starting to kind of think about what we're going to do for his birthday. I think we're just going to kind of do a, um, a family party this year at my mom's house and just kind of keep it low-key and family and stuff like that, but... I'm not really sure exactly what we're doing so maybe I'll do like a party planning video and like share what we're doing when I get more information about it but I am kind of thinking about um sorry I'm kind of thinking about birthday party planning right now so I'll have to let you know when I plan it and um what I decide to do maybe I'll like do a separate um video on that or something I don't know but anyway <laughs> so yeah we're starting to plan that out I think it's just gonna be pretty simple this year though because his first birthday party there's a ton of people I think we're just gonna do it more simple this year just with like family and stuff so that will be fun but anyway maybe I'll update that a little bit later you wanna say hi you're just gonna look at me <laughs> you're so stinging adorable you wanna say hi to the camera hi is that you in there Oh, there's Aubrey. There's Aubrey. There's Aubrey. <laughs> You're being very mellow today. Usually she's more smiley. But anyway, all right, I think that's all I have to say for his 22-month update. I can't believe my baby boy is 22 months already. So sad. And <laughs> I know I'm just going to cry at his birthday this year because I did when he turned one, and I'm going to again when he turns two because every single year means they're getting older and older and more independent and I just want them to stay little for a little bit longer. <laughs> but they don't stay little for very long, do they? Nope. 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 Alright guys, I think that's all we have to update on and I will talk to you later. Say bye-bye.